the gallbladder may region of foot Shaoyang or foot lesser yang begins near the end point of the triple warmer meridian at the lateral corner of the eye. It follows a zigzag path over the temporal and parietal area of the head and goes through the occiput to the sides of the shoulders along the trapezius muscle. It flows then to the side of the thorax and makes a zigzag across the ribs, then on the flank and the hip, it continues down the side of the thigh and leg, finishing on the lateral side of the fourth toe. Its inner branches, the branch behind the ear, enters the ear and flows to the front to enter the eye. The branch from the outer cantus runs on the cheek, meeting stomach five and stomach six. This branch enters the thorax to connect with the liver and enters the gallbladder. From there, it flows to the lateral side of lower abdomen near the femoral artery at the inguinal region. The branch at the dorsum of the foot splits off at point GB41 and flows to the big toe to connect with the next meridian, which is the liver. So let's start exploring the important points of the gallbladder meridian. First up is GB1. It is located in a bony depression on the lateral aspect of the orbital margin on the level of the outer cantus of the eye. This is the first point and the entry point of the meridian. It should be needled with skin pinch at needle tip towards the outer cantus. It is used against ptosis or dropping of eyelids in facial paralysis where eyelids do not close well. Next point is GB8. It is 1.5 soon directly superior to the apex of the ear in a depression on the upper border, border of the temporalis muscle. This is a symptomatic point for tinnitus and ear-related dizziness. This point is needled subcutaneously for a distance of one to two centimeters above the ear and twirled small and rapidly for about a minute. The needle is then left in place for 20 minutes. It coincides with the vertigo auditory area of scalp acupuncture, and this may explain why it works in these conditions. Next point is GB12. It is located in a depression directly posterior and inferior to the mastoid process. So it's below the mastoid process in close point to GB20. This is also a good, good point like GB20 for improving the sight. Next point is GB14. It is located with the patient looking straight ahead on the pupil line, approximately one soon superior to the midline, midpoint of the eyebrow at the junction of the frontal eminence of the superciliary arch. This is an excellent point for treating frontal headache and problems with eyes. It is also effective in correcting drooping eyelids, dry eyes, and due to eye stress. Needled intramuscularly with needle facing the center of the eyebrow, it assists the eyebrow raising movement and therefore it is used in facial paralysis. Next point is GB20. It is located at the lower border of the occipital bone in the depression between the origins of the sternocleidomastoid and trapezius muscles. It is easily the most important point in the head. It is a wind eliminating point for head and face, meaning all allergic symptoms, irritation of sensory organs and headaches will clear with this point. It is a point that makes the senses clear and it is good for treating symptoms such as blurred vision, tinnitus, loss of smell or deafness, short or long sight, loss of taste, etc. It helps one to think clearly and see situations clearly. 
does, it is good for making decisions.